you guys, what's up? Simply Sasha 404 here, and today I have a new video for you guys. And I know, pause, hold up. Like, Sasha, you're not just gonna waltz in here and act like you haven't been missing for about a month. I know. Well, about three weeks ago, I got sick with the flu. And honestly, I can't remember ever having the flu. I was out of work, out of YouTube, out of doing anything for a straight week and like maybe two days. I was like, dead I was like sick like I could not do anything like that was the worst I've ever been sick in my life granted I have a video coming up next week on how to get through the flu or some tips on how to get through it slash how to feel better about it so if you guys are interested in that stay tuned to my channel this video was about five tips on how to keep your room clean now I see a lot of videos on cleaning my room and organizing my room but I want to like prevent me from getting to that step of cleaning my room because one first I'm a lazy lazy person so that's the majority of why my room ends up being really messy in the first place because I'm lazy and I just throw clothes down and things like that so yeah here's our five tips on keeping your room clean and then like by the end of the week or maybe not at all you will have to do like a huge cleaning and it's less on you it's just a win-win for us lazy people am I right thumbs up if you are lazy because I'm definitely lazy. Thumbs up if you want a video on how not to be lazy from a lazy person. <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, let's get into the video. So for tip number one, you're gonna go ahead and spread your bed every day or every morning if you can. If you're not in your bed or if you're leaving for the day, especially if you're leaving for the day, I suggest you spreading your bed because spreading your bed can make your room look 10 times cleaner and you haven't even picked up anything off the floor or threw out any trash or anything. Trust me, it just gives you more of a like push to clean your room because you know your room, your bed's clean so it's like ah. Oh, I just want to clean the rest of my room. So yeah, I would, you know, I I spread my bed when I leave for work in the morning. So when I come home, it looks all nice and neat, and it's just it feels good coming home to a nicely spread bed. So spread your bed in the morning. Don't be lazy. Trust me, it helps. Tip number two. Oh, that's four. Two. Put your clothes away. This is my biggest thing. I do not like to put away my clothes. I come home, I take off my stuff, I throw it down on the floor. Or I come home from somewhere, anywhere. I come home, I throw it on the floor, I throw it on my bed, I throw it on the chair. It is really easy, but again, the laziness in me to just put your clothes away. I know you're really, really tired, but, or like just put them in your dirty clothes basket. Like if you just keep them off the floor, off your bed, off the chair, you know it'll be much better and you won't have to do so much cleaning I think clothes is my worst thing but yeah take your clothes off the floor at the end of the night um, and that will really help at the end of the night just make sure all your clothes and stuff are picked up so it doesn't accumulate and you don't have to do a big massive cleanup at the end of the week or yeah tip number three this don't keep trash in your room. Um, another one of mine that I don't do very well. Don't keep trash in your room. And I would say at the end of the night again, just make sure you throw out all your trash. Or in the morning, just make sure you get and collect all your trash. And yeah, that's very simple. So, or if you have a trash bag, if you have a trash can in your room, make sure you empty it at night or in the morning into the bigger trash can. Like that's in either kitchen or I don't know where you guys keep your bigger trash but or outside if it's in the morning so yeah just just try not to keep trash accumulating in your room because that can also make your room very messy and looks really like unorganized so yeah tip number four now you can do this every other day or every week um, but wipe down your surfaces your counter your desk your dresser make sure you know like there's not really dusty or just make sure there's no like makeup or you know spills anything on your desk just wipe it off and clean it off because if it's sticky it can create maybe bugs sometimes or it just doesn't look clean so just wipe off your surfaces and keep them nice and clean and shiny yeah okay so for tip number five last tip make sure that you sweep or vacuum your room at least once a week 
you know it helps to make your carpet or a tile look much cleaner and you get all the dust and every little bits of papers off of your floor and it just looks much better that way um i sweep my room because i feel like my room is kind of small and i don't like vacuuming because we don't really have a small vacuum i just don't like vacuuming again lazy factor but hey what can you do but yeah so that is all my tips on keeping your room clean trust me i've been doing this for a good two weeks now <laughs> i know not very long but two weeks is a long time for me usually my room is messy the next day. So keep your room clean, follow these five tips. Let me know if they work for you or if you have any other tips, let me know down below because I can use all the tips I can get, trust me. When my friends see that I'm making this video, they're gonna be like, really Sasha, you're making this video? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so much. If you did, go ahead and thumbs up this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Subscribe so you can see more videos. And trust me, I'm gonna be putting out a lot more videos because guess what's coming up? Playlist and your girl is going. So I have a video up on that soon. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And um, at the end of this video, there'll be a clip where you can go watch my previous video. Or you can follow me on any of the social networks that I have listed. Go ahead and follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. Those are my main two. I also have a Twitter. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching again. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. You can do it like a one long one kind of. You can do, you know, two. I usually wear it like this. And so we're just going to get into it. Okay. Well. First off, there's like paper, there's receipts, there's chocolate wrappers, which is kind of disgusting. 